Hi, my name is Jerion, and I am the creator and writer of Casey Comics. During this video, I just wanted to talk about the comic cover I'm drawing, and also my comic as a whole. Just so it's not confusing, this is not a single issue comic. I plan to release, release more comics under Casey Comics from different heroes and some villains, but different points of view. While they may not be in the same city, or maybe the same dimension or universe, I will try to be consistent in making it simple and easy timeline with some branches off from time to time, but not a lot. First up, Red Inferno Origins is a story about a 27 year old girl with powers who discovers the people involved in her powers are now in search of her. And that's all I'm going to say for right now about that. Moving on to something I wanted to talk about was how long it took me to make this comic. And while it probably took me three months to make this version of the comic, I've been making this same comic and doing revisions for it for a, about a year. My first ever Red comic, I lost. And it was very sad to me because that's I feel like that was where I poured my emotions out, where I poured everything I wanted to give to the about the universe out. And then I lost it. Couldn't find it anywhere. So... Because of that, I pushed myself to make a new comic. And so I did. And now I have my other red comic. That one was not good because rereading it, I realized there are some plot holes. And the villain, I feel like, didn't match the protagonist in terms of powers. So I had to create a new one, which is this one. I'm The one I'm covering right now, which is Red Infernal Origins. Now, that's my most current one. And I have two other comics on the way. And now, now I'm gonna move on to uh, my comics as a whole. When I first came up with my comics, I created my own uh, rough team of heroes. I don't know what they were, neither do I wanna know because they are people that probably would be resemble somebody else from a different universe, some other place, I don't know. And I realize now that most people won't be able to pronounce my comics. It is pronounced Casey, K-A-K-C. I know it doesn't look like Casey, but I pronounce it like Casey. And yeah. So when I first created my hero, when I first created my few heroes, I only had 26 and 25 hero to villain ratio. But now I'm at 135 villains and 136 heroes. Meaning I came up with over 200 characters and about a year's worth. Which, is, that's why I love comics so much. I can just create these kind of characters. And I only create, how I created these characters was just mostly just like, I don't want to, I don't want to sound like I'm copying him, but mostly like Stan Lee. If you watch a video of him, of how he created his heroes, he said he just sat down in a chair and would think. That's what I did. I would sit down in a chair and I would think. First, I would think of a character. Then I would think about their story and powers, see if it's related to any other comic or hero already made or villain, and if it's not, put it into my universe. I would I try to create my own unique characters, so it seems like I'm not copying because if someone knows you copied once, what's to stop them from thinking you copied again? Which is what I don't want to go through because I really want this to grow and have an audience of its own. Maybe not as big as some other universes, but at least if at least a hundred people like my comic, then I'm satisfied. Cause a hundred is a big number. Next, I will plan to release this on Indiegogo as a campaign. It might not be now, but I will in the future. But when I reach my, if I reach my goal, I will print two hundred and fifty copies and sign a few of them. If by some miracle I reach over my goal, I will sign all copies and anyone who backs it up with at least five dollars or more, what their name will be in the back on a special thank you page, as in like thank you for helping me reach my goal and above, helping me accomplish my goal, my dream. And yeah. My third comic and my second comic will be coming up a little bit next because i have the second comic fully finished i just need to revise it and the third comic i have 
ready and I know what the story is. I'm just write, writing and in the process of drawing it out right now. And the first three, they will occupy right now in the same timeline and in the same universe and the same city. They may not be at the same point in time, but they are the same, 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 they're the same everything else. But yeah, and I cannot wait to show you what I have planned. I have over 70 comics planned. If you check the about tab, it says 70 comics planned. That is how much I have planned in form of like, I know the like two sentence story and the title, but I don't know like the, all of the story yet, but I know like the cliff notes and what's the title over 70 and above comp planned. And I cannot wait to show you what I have. Don't forget to follow the socials if you want to know more. I, will, I post to my Instagram. At least I try to post weekly. Because I, there's just so many things I came out with. And I'm just so happy to be not really in a position. But I'm just happy I'm able to put together a comic. And hopefully be able to print it and to sell it. Now, when it comes to printing, I looked everywhere for somewhere to print my comic. And I finally found a place. I'm going to print from Kablam. If you know Kablam, they do good printing. I got some print samples right now, and they look pretty good. So I think I'm going to go with Kablam. It's the cheapest, and it can look new while also retaining some of the old features that comics used to have. Now, I want to talk about my first ever, well, well, let's just talk about major event in my comics. There will be one, but it won't be for another while until I can think of my own unique uh, input on a story like that. But so far, what I'm thinking about doing is just grabbing a few heroes and then because... I don't want to release, I don't want to spoil too much, but basically I just want to grab a few of my heroes and well, I'll leave it there for right now, but yeah. Next, I want to talk about what hero, some of the heroes I have, because I feel like I need to, you know, entice people more. Some of the characters I have include someone, hold on, named Blue Light, which is the third comic. His name is Blue Light. He has mystical powers from a crater that you'll see in the first comic, some sort of. And the second comic, Glow, is about a kid who also has powers, but he can't fully control his powers as much as, let's just say, Blue Light can. That's all the uh, I want to tell you about now the fourth comic I'm making is going to be about the classmates which I haven't started yet but I already know the premise of and I kind of teased in my comics you would have to look for that detail and something special I'm going to do with my comics is I'm going to write um, letters on each comic so when you put it together in order, it spells out something, which that's what I wanted to do from day one. And now I'm actually going to be able to do it. All right. Probably the last final thing is that I'm thankful for anyone who backs it. Thankful for anyone who subscribes. Thank you for anyone who follows. This has been a dream of mine that I'm so glad I can actually make now. And... I just want to say I appreciate you. You know, I don't even know who you are, and you probably see my face, but I don't know. I just haven't seen your face. You've seen my voice. You heard my voice, but I've never heard your voice. But still, I appreciate you and everything you do. And a little side note, the way this comic looks was not the first way I ever thought about making them. I first thought of making them with the box at the top left, not a ribbon, but... I thought I needed to change it, and so I did. And so, 
That's all I have to say for right now. Just remember to follow my socials. Thank you for everything. Bye.